Welcome back to another Piware tutorial. Today is another Band Director's Guide to Piware. We're talking block forms, pregame, um, anything that you need that you can use to use Piware to speed up your rehearsal process. I like to use a 4x4 block at the beginning of my rehearsal for attendance, for basic marching technique, um, and we also use that same block for parades. Uh, there are a lot of built-in features in Piware that can help you do all those sequences with one single page of drill. Let me show you. Alright, welcome back to a Band Director's Guide to Piware. Today we're going to talk about just creating block forms in Piware that can help you with do things like um, creating a pregame show or a quick pregame set if you need to have the kids go out on the field and play the Star Spangled Banner or the fight song or how to use uh, how to use it quick to create blocks and other forms that you can use uh, for attendance and basics and uh, uh, in rehearsal or if you need to put together a parade block uh, you're going to do a parade um, in town or, or something national and you want, really want that parade block to be correct every time and, and you're able to set it quickly with the kids. One of the things I always like to do first at band camp is put the kids in a block that I know it's easy to take attendance in and we have the kids go to that block every single time and that's where we do basic marching skills and that sort of thing. I think a lot of people do that. So the first thing you need to do is hop into Pyware and open it up and save first save it as basics block, save, and then that way you can just kind of keep this block uh, for your uh, purposes of, of rehearsal and facilitating rehearsal. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create a page tab, unlock down here in the corner, and then click on count zero and that will create your first page. Okay, so in count zero, first page, you want to come over here, grab your block tool, and you're going to click in the upper left corner of your block, the upper right corner of your block, and then click the depth of your block. So you want it to come down. I usually do make my interval a 4, over here under interval by 4. And you can see that that's got 104 total positions. Okay, now if you have 102 band members, uh, I find it's just easier to do uh, except the 104 and then just pick the two that you want to subtract. And you can select them here using the selection tool. Use the box selection tool because that will only select uh, the kids that you put it around. If you use the point selection tool, that will highlight the whole line. Okay, so you can do that and get rid of those two kids. And now you've already got one drill set that you can use uh, that you can use to teach the kids how to find their coordinate. Um, you can use this uh, to do attendance. Um, say you want these first, uh, you got maybe 10 flutes. Well, this is eight, add another nine, 10. Uh, using your box selection tool, highlight the eight, hold shift, and then highlight the two, and it adds those two in. And then you can label them, you can make them flutes. Label F1, and it comes down all the way through, and you know that those will be flute dots. Uh, you could use your lasso tool here, again, to select things. Um, we'll select the next group of performers. Say you want had uh, this here six performers, and maybe another line of eight were your clarinets. You had 14 clarinets. You could go to Label and do C1. And now you got all clarinets. Now another thing you could do, you should do, in the name here, you can write clarinet and hit repeat. And at the top of their uh, coordinate card, it'll say clarinet, and then it'll say C1. We can go back and do that for flutes as well. Box selection tool, hold shift, box selection tool again, flute 8 and 10, go to our labeler. There's our label, it's already there, and flute plus and repeat and we're all set. Now you can continue to do so as you go along. Um, again, in some of my other tutorials I talk about symbols and you can make these guys all dots if you'd like, a lowercase s and then repeat symbol makes them dots. And that can just help you uh, put it the way you like to have it. You've got all your labels, 
you've got your basics block, which you will take attendance in every day or do basics. Or if you want to do a parade, say you have your woodwinds in front and you wanted to move these guys over and put your drum line right here and your drum line uh, goes in the center and you want to put them, you know, a different color, they're red and they're going to be at a three-step interval along the form or something or four-step interval is fine. Okay, and then that way you know that your woodwinds are here, your percussion's here, your brass are here and it's easy to see and you can use that uh, to take attendance or for uh, block practice or parade practice uh, or even if you wanted to just make one set that the kids go to for pregame, you've got it. Now you could get really intense and you could say, well I want um, you know, an attendance block with my students' names. Well you can do that. You can put um, Susie, can be this first one, go to the next one, Bill, Steve, and all you do is arrow over to the right and it'll go to the next performer and you can put their names down and you could even have that for roll call and that would mean you know you you're just have that next level of organization so there's plenty you can do with the program to keep yourself organized even if just having one set of drill and you don't have to sit there um, at your desk and use a sharpie on an old uh, drill drill page to put yourself in, you know put a block together um, so th these are just some ways that you can use Pyware really quickly to make one page uh, to keep yourself organized for pregame or parades or uh, basics block, uh, attendance purposes, whatever you might need it for. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Stay tuned to my channel for more Band Director's Guide to Pyware tutorials and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.